From New Jersey, we head to Long Island where there are four congressional districts on the island and on the ballot, and two of the districts have open seats. In District 1, which makes up most of Suffolk County, Republican Nick Lolota is running against Democrat Bridget Fleming. Now, this seat has been held by GOP gubernatorial candidate Lee Zeldin since 2015. The other open seat, District 3, which is mainly in Nassau County. Democrat Robert Zimmerman and Republican George Santos are battling to replace Representative Tom Suozzi, who you might recall lost in the Democratic primary for governor of New York. And in a first in American political history, both of these candidates are gay. Stacey Sager has a look at this race. I'm Robert Zimmerman. I'm running for Congress. I'm George Santos running for U.S. Congress on November 8th. Both candidates, Republican and Democrat, hitting the diners and hoping to show voters a much more moderate side than what we're seeing in all these negative ads. Robert Zimmerman, 68 years old, Democrat, businessman, who knows the 3rd District, the North Shore of Nassau, into Queens. Whether it's dealing with jet plane noise and helicopter noise in our congressional district, whether it's dealing with the issue of protecting our water quality, whether it's about putting gun safety legislation in place. Versus Republican George Santos, 34-year-old financier with a sense of humor who knows what it's like to lose after running against Tom Suozzi for the very same seat in 2020. But now is different, he says. Mitigating and fighting inflation to make sure that we're not hurting every American either on fixed income or trying to start a career, young families trying to start their, their lives, especially here in this district, which is really expensive. One thing the candidates have in common, they are both openly gay men making history in a congressional race. Growing up as a closeted gay kid in the 70s, I used to hang out in the diner actually on a Friday night. I didn't want to admit to my folks I didn't have a date for the dance. Not every gay person needs to be a Democrat. You can also be a conservative because I'll tell you, it was a lot easier coming out gay than a Republican in this state. And as Congress, they brought politics here Congress. for lunch, it was easy to see nothing was off the table with voters. So. You support Trump if he was the nominee? Look, quite frankly, I supported him in 16. I'm very honest about that. Uh, right now, I don't know. Both candidates will face an uphill battle.